no bueno. I like it. Ew, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Hey everyone, today I have another review for you guys. Today I am looking at and swatching the LA Splash Lip Couture Waterproof Liquid Lipstick. I keep hearing great things about these liquid lipsticks everywhere, Instagram, YouTube, isn't that everywhere? I feel kind of late to the party, but I ordered three of them and I really want to tell you guys my thoughts. There are a ton of shades. I just went for three that I thought I would actually wear in real life because, I mean, okay, I totally see the value in like, I'm going to swatch every single shade they have, but I like my lips, number one. Number two, I don't want to buy things that I'm not going to wear. I was super inspired to do this review because I wore this color. It's Lollipop in one of my recent reviews. It was the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous review slash demo. If you didn't see that video and you wanna see this lip color in like action for several minutes, over five minutes, maybe seven minutes, not that it matters. Uh, <laughs> you can go over and look at that one. Seriously, like half the comments on that video were about the lip color because this is like a super neon pink crazy lipstick. I did stop that video about a minute or two in and say, oh my gosh, my lip color, I'm feeling so weird about it because I can't tell what it looks like on camera because it feels so weird. And a lot of people took that as I didn't like the color, but what I was really trying to say was I felt like it looked weird because it felt really weird. And that told me I really needed to share my thoughts on these lip colors because I feel like they're getting a lot, a lot of positive attention and I wanted to share my personal experience. So I have some pros, I have some cons, and I'm also gonna do swatches of these three colors. I got mine online on the LA Splash site. Uh, they went for $11.98, so just under $12. Definitely into the price. The price definitely goes on the pro side. They're super affordable and I love affordable makeup. Just to tell you really quickly, the three colors I got, Lollipop, already mentioned that one, Ghoulish, which is a super popular kind of grayish nude color, and the last one is Rose Garden. That's what I have on my lips right now, and it is my favorite out of the three colors that I got. I am gonna show you swatches after I share the pros and cons with you. First up on the pro side, like I said, the price. Also, there is a very wide range of colors, and some of the colors are really, really unique, which is exciting. There's like a super amazing, like fuchsia purple. There are some really cool vampy reds. Uh, there's this really interesting kind of, to me it says denim, like a medium wash denim blue, which I think that I would hate on myself, but I've seen it on other people and it looks really, really cool. Um, I know there's a lot of like really dark colors and some nudes. I mean, definitely just check out the site. The colors are all over the place. The most obvious and biggest strength for these lip colors is the long wearing quality. These things stay on like nobody's business. Of course, the wear time kind of varies depending on what you eat, what you drink, how much you talk, whatever you're doing with your lips that day. Um, but I have had a pretty good experience with these staying on kind of no matter what I do. But I would say one of the biggest enemies of any long wear liquid lipstick is greasy food, which is hmm, happens to be one of my favorite things in life. So that's just something to know. On average, I'd give them about a five hour wear time before they start getting weird or, you know, well, they start getting kind of weird long before that. But I'll get to that on the other side, the con side. Another great strength for this product is the packaging. The packaging is actually, like whenever you handle it and stuff, it's pretty cheap, um, it's very light. I mean, those kind of things don't really matter to me as long as the actual product is good. Um, but what I'm saying is a strength about it is the doe foot applicator actually makes it really, really easy to apply. Um, I don't usually use a lip liner when I wear these um, just because it's actually really easy to just like paint it on my lips exactly where it needs to go. I've had a pretty good experience with that. Stop texting me. All right, so that was everything on my good list. Let's move over to the con side. Uh, I have quite a few things to say. First off, something that anyone would notice when they're about to use these, they smell 
kind of nasty. It's definitely something that I can get through because I'm not, I don't mean, it doesn't like turn my stomach or anything that like that, but it's almost like they almost have, I don't want to say paint because you're going to be so terrified to even try them, but it's definitely more of like a chemically scent. There's no taste, but, um, and the scent definitely does go away, but when you first use these, that's definitely something you're going to notice. Next up, the thing that I was really concerned about when I was wearing Lollipop in that review video, um, after a while of wearing these, especially this one I notice, it, it just feels like a heavy film on your lips, which is actually really common for long wear lip colors, um, but I feel like it's even more with these somehow, and especially this color, Lollipop. It goes on kind of patchy, which this one, the lighter color, which is pretty typical for lighter lip colors, so you are inclined to add more color, so then over time, whenever it starts to really, really set down, it's like a film on your lips, and it kind of accentuates the wrinkles on your lips, and it feels nasty. It feels yucky, not gonna lie. And that's what I was really, really concerned about. And that's why I was like, oh, I feel like they look weird. But it was because they felt so weird. And when you looked really, really close, which that video was about this distance, and I don't feel like you guys could really like see how it was accentuating the wrinkles on my lips, which everyone has, but it can be accentuated by certain lip products. Um, you guys couldn't see that. You guys were all just like super excited about the color, which the color is really awesome but it was kind of patchy and it accentuated the wrinkles on my lips and it felt weird so that's what I was talking about that is definitely not something that makes me very happy it doesn't make me feel very comfortable I've definitely noticed that with this color more than the other two colors this one that I'm wearing now is definitely my favorite it is a rose garden I love this one. It does not feel as uncomfortable as the other one. It wears so much better, um, but I think it wears a lot better because it matches my natural lip a little bit better. So whenever it starts to go uh, patchy or it starts to like go into the wrinkles of the lip, it's like just not as apparent. I've actually heard from other people that the more corally shades tend to wear not as well. So I think maybe that's just something to avoid. I don't know. But I definitely do prefer to go with a lightest hand I can whenever I'm applying it and not like over apply because I think it's like a little bit goes a long way and you just want to make it opaque which is actually pretty easy to do so because the more you put on the worse it looks I feel but like most long wear lip colors it comes off in a not so cute way and reapplying this product I feel is just kind of a no-go like it you want to apply just like the smallest bit you could only in the places where you really needed it because it gets super weird super fast. It's just like you do not want to re reapply this. So that's a really tricky thing because it's super hard to take off. So say you were wearing a super fun bright color like a lollipop and you were like out for the entire day. Well, once it starts wearing away and looking funky on your lips, you might want to just take it off rather than try to reapply. No, no, no this stuff stays on like crazy which kind of sounds weird because i'm saying it's coming off but it's staying on like crazy it just maybe you just have to experience it but just you know like the inner part of your lip it's going to start to wear away first just because that's where your saliva is that's where you're talking that's where your lips meet it's just the part that starts to go first and uh you might want to just take it off all together but no you can't um, because this stuff takes some scrubbing. I mean, if you had makeup wipes with you, that could probably work, but just taking it off like any old lipstick, it's not gonna happen. I found the best way to get it off is to use coconut oil. I use this for other makeup removing sometimes, not always, uh, but I found just using a little bit on my finger and rubbing it on my lips and then going back in with a makeup wipe, that breaks it up and it takes it away. So something that is super oil-based, like coconut oil, that is 
is going to be your lifesaver when you're using these lip products. A lot of times matte colors just dry down super fast and it's actually really, really convenient, but this stays tacky for a surprisingly long time. It gets tacky pretty quickly, but then it stays tacky for like a really, really long time, which is weird. It doesn't feel that great, but eventually it does set, but it takes a weirdly long time, which is just kind of, ew, right? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right, so let's look at the swatches and then I'll give you my final verdict on these liquid lipsticks. Okay, I'm taking off the lip color and just putting on a layer of the coconut oil and then I'm going in with a makeup wipe giving myself a sweet lip liner effect. No bueno. Next up, this is Ghoulish. I'm pretty sure Ghoulish is one of their most popular colors and I see it a lot on Instagram. It's a pretty cool color and I think it's actually pretty wearable for being one of those like gray nudes. I like it. Do we like this? I think we could call that last one like a my lips but grayer color. Next up I'm doing Lollipop. It is a super super bright pink and like I said it applies kind of patchy. I did have problems with the way this one felt on my lips. The other two definitely feel more comfortable. Um, but this one is like a shocking super special unique color. Okay, can't talk while I do this. <laughs> So I definitely had to work with this one a lot more and it's still patchy. I tried to apply it as evenly as possible to really give it a great chance, um, but it's still pretty patchy and the color is awesome, which like I said, I think is a huge strength for this line and I think that's why it gets such positive attention, but I don't know, I don't know, don't really like how it wears, it doesn't feel too cool. Of course it hasn't been very long so they still look pretty good but maybe you can tell like it's just patchy and it's just I don't know it just wears weird I don't know if you can tell I can tell <laughs> I'm gonna leave this one on even after I'm done filming and in a few hours when it starts to act really weird I'm gonna take a photo and I'm gonna insert it now <laughs> See, this is not something we want, or it's not something I want. I, I just don't think it looks cute. Do you think? Not very cute. All right, so final verdict on these. Love the color, love the color selection. I think they have some really unique, awesome colors, and it's like if you were always, always, always looking for that denim blue color, I would point you in that direction for sure. But if you were looking for something like this color, I would say, try another line and I actually think that I really really like this color so I'd like to find this color in a different line like maybe that just suits me better do you have a suggestion do you know of like a super crazy neon pink that looks like this but is not this comment down below let me know I'm very interested and I love that I mean you guys loved it on me in that video so I was like I definitely need to find a color dupe for this and wear it for the rest of my life no not really but definitely need to add it to my collection so I kind of feel like my final verdict is like these are hit and miss like my absolute favorite is this one it's the rose garden I feel like it's super wearable it's a little closer to my lip color it is like super pink but it's not as pink as this one and it definitely wears a lot better so I know I said a lot of bad things about them but it's just because I feel like you deserve to know um, at the same time I do think they're worth the risk if you find a a really cool color that you feel like you just need in your life it's less than 12 bucks so like why not go out on the limb maybe it wears really great maybe it doesn't that's my experience I know that final verdict was kind of all over the place but I really hope you guys got something out of this review if you did like this review please give me a thumbs up that really helps my channel like when you guys thumbs up it just tells other people that it was a good video and people liked it and it's helpful for me and it gives me a warm happy feeling on the inside 
not gonna lie. Also, when you subscribe to my channel, it also really helps, and I hope you guys choose to do that so you can keep up with all my new videos that I put out all the time. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. You are my people, and I love you. And if you want to find me anywhere else on the internet, I'm always saying things and talking to you guys in other places as well as here. Um, it's Leanne Says Everywhere. Please come say hey. And yeah, I guess that's it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Isn't that everywhere? Someone is yelling at their dog outside. Drop it, drop it, drop it. Can we not? Before they start getting weird. <laughs> oh, hey. Bless me. Whoa, messed up my hair with that sneeze. Ew, right? <laughs> Excuse me. On this wall, I have my gallery wall situation. It's just kind of like a big collection of wall art and prints and actually things that I've made over time. Like this is one that I made. I painted this in an art class at one point. Don't laugh at me. Here, let me back up a bit. All right, so down here I have this